All right, Ian. Pat. Uh, Billy Mitchell is in the news again. Yeah, fuck him. Um, and when you curse that close, I have to I have to bleep it out because we we, get, we can get dinged for our monetization anyway. Um, so Billy Mitchell has, has been involved with multiple lawsuits, um, defamation suits against. Uh, Twin Galaxies because they re rejected and, and, and banned them because of the alleged uh, cheating on scores. Um, he, he sued a uh, YouTuber up, 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 up. Oh, my printer went off. Uh, Apollo Legend for calling him uh, calling him out in videos. They came to an agreement it sounds like. They did a, they did a Kickstarter to counter sue. That didn't happen. Um, I got a refund. I did I did donate for his legal defense. I got a refund in the past week or so. So I think that finally they're going out to people. So that's it's un, un, un it's, it's, not, it's not disclaimed uh, how much uh, what, what that agreement was or how much money uh, Apollo Legend had to pay to Billy Mitchell or whatever. Uh, but now Billy Mitchell is being sued, sued by Twin Galaxies now. After yep. I guess that lawsuit's gone now. Twin Galaxies is saying, okay, it's our turn now. So Billy Mitchell is being sued uh, for fraud and racketeering. So a YouTuber um, named Carl Jobst or Jobst. I guess found the legal documents online and discussed them uh, here uh, in, in a video. So I'm going off of, of his analysis of this and what he's presented here. So th this is this is uh, this filing is recent, and he's being sued for uh, over, over three million dollars by Twin Galaxies. I believe someone said that the amount. Uh, someone pointed out that the amount he is being sued for is the uh, score that you get if you play a perfect game of pack. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I should have when I saw that I was like th a lot of threes in there. I was like three million three hundred or something. Uh, That's pretty great. Uh, so okay, so so Twin Galaxies was was owned by uh, Walter Day and Billy Mitchell, and they sold it to Jace Hall in two thousand uh, fourteen. There was turnover. Jace Hall uh, uh, took control of it, and obviously it's been a little bit rough since then. Since he uh, he must have realized he bought a, a fucking shit show right. based upon uh, alleged fraudsters and, and hucksters that built up the brand over the years, in, including uh, uh, you know uh, Todd Rogers, uh, I including Billy Mitchell. I don't know who the hell else. There's allegations of like pedophiles being involved allegedly with with, with Queen Galaxies in the past. There's a lo there's a lot of shit that it looks like maybe Jace Hall didn't realize he bought at the time that. Maybe it's not worth as much as he thought. It so, feels like it was basically misrepresented to him. Sure. So you can and, and, and things that were done by Billy Mitchell and Walter Day were were done in a way to increase the clout of a place like Twin Galaxies to prepare it for a sale. Sure. And here's the thing: you could you could um, if you're selling something to someone, you could you could gas it up and and be like, oh yeah, is, you can always say it's better than what it really is. But if you engage in what you think is uh, what you think the other party is engaging fraudulent behavior on the way of building that company, and that's not disclosed or you don't know that, and you buy it well, maybe you you have some legal recourse, and, and that's what I think Jace Hall has decided is that there's always been a ton of negative publicity. I've only heard bad stories coming out of Twin Galaxies the past years. Have we have we commented on it otherwise? Has that... No, not really. I mean, it, it obviously there's there's a there's a, a big uh, market still for competitive gaming, and for high scores. Uh, but at this point, he probably felt, all right, uh, this was not whatever, for whatever amount of money he bought it for wasn't worth it, obviously. And now there's damages and the name being uh, drugged through the mud. But he's now looking into what occurred in the past, allegedly with Billy Mitchell and Walter Day, in order to make Billy Mitchell. You know, uh, his esteem, like, you know, he's the best gamer ever. You know, he has all these records. So in this video, uh, it, it talks about really what's being alleged in the, in the, in the, in the civil suit. Uh, things like, you know, eliminating uh, the first perfect game uh, score so that it was really uh, Billy Mitchell getting the first Pac-Man uh, perfect game. Things like that. Uh, you know, wiping out uh, Steve Wiebe's uh, scores uh, so that uh, Billy Mitchell got all these high million scores first. Things like that. Things that, uh, if turn out to be true, are, are fraudulent. They're fraud. Right. Uh, so I think this. What happened probably in this case is that uh, when, when Jace Hall got got acquired all this, he probably thought it was on the up and up. He didn't dig into this stuff. But when 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 this when the, the alleged you know Mame Donkey Kong video thing come, came out, and then once you get sued, and and you start to go through any form of discovery or looking into this stuff, he probably went, oh wow, look at all this stuff I didn't realize right. that might have happened. 
Look at all this stuff. Oh, uh, Todd Rogers. Uh, he he's being the referee for his buddy uh, Billy Mitchell, and he's the and, one verifying this stuff. And, and he's already had it proven that some of his high scores are just flat out bullshit. Oh, yeah. Um, so he probably realized, wow, this is bad. I, I was I was sold a, a you know a lemon basically in terms of the trademark right. and IP and and the website, and this is bad. Um. So this is uh from from the court filings. You can go through the video yourself, but. Um, old Twin Galaxies violation of California Civil Code, Code Section 1709 and the deceit it has engaged in as set forth in this cross complainant constitutes unlawful, unfair, and fraudulent business acts and practices in violation of California's unfair competition law. Old Twin Galaxies unlawful, unfair, and fraudulent business acts and practices have allowed it to unfairly compete in the market. Old Twin Galaxies should be enjoined from further acts of unfair competition. Um, and then it goes into some of the more details about the, the purchase agreement. Um, that, in, that in the purchase agreement itself uh, looks like uh, Jace Hall. A, a container representation warrant, warranty that the Twin Galaxy score database did not contain any untrue or misleading misleading statement of fact. Hey, I'm buying this reputation of this website uh, and these scores have been around forever. I'm buying, like, this is real, right? Like, you guys are... This is the truth. This right. Is, you, you know, this has to be, if, if if we can't trust the scores, that's all we have. That's a reputation. And then when it comes out of you afterwards, oh, wow, all these scores have to be wiped out. Your reputation's shit. It's shot. So, yeah, it, it, I mean, to the point where he probably feels like it's irreparable. And Yeah, that's... maybe I, w I wouldn't have bought it if I know. I, would you have bought it if you had known? Oh. Absolutely not. The, per the, the people allegedly that ran the site were engaged in fraud to make themselves look as good as they as they do. It brings up uh, the, the things like the ridiculous one is is that what he thought what he claimed that Namco gave him the gamer of the century. Yeah, award. that's 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 really all I wanted to bring it's up. It's disgusting. Was just, uh, na so uh, there's a, a award that Billy talks about uh, being the gamer of the century that was given to him by uh, the guy who created Pac-Man. I think was even who we said it uh, who said gave it to him, or it was someone high up at Namco. And basically, what the and it was a ruse, and it was shown in this video that the award was given. to to Billy by Walter Day. He created the award. He created the award, made up an award for Billy, because Billy had to have an award. And these are probably the people who are against participation trophies. And um, <clears throat> goes out to Japan, uh, plays a game, and uh, then basically talks Namco into being like, hey, this will be a good photo opportunity for you. Hand it to Billy. Takes yeah. takes a photo of himself holding his award next to them, and then goes out and tells people that Namco gave him the award as greatest gamer of the century. Which is funny because even if they had, what the fuck does that mean? Are you ten? I'm the greatest gamer of the century. <laughs> okay. Well, to build the reputation, but the funny right, thing is but that it, it's, it, you it, can... it would be a silly, meaningless award regardless. But it's even a horrible lie because you can just ask, "Hey, Namco, did you give Billy Mitchell the the, the gamer of the century award?" And they said no. Like. No, yeah, it's not an award. First of all, we right. can't do that. It's not a thing. So, um, more more stuff from the lawsuit filing here. Beginning in 1997, Walter Day and Billy Mitchell conspired and, and agreed to commit fraud to restore old Twin Galaxies to prominence and increase the value of the business assets for potential future suitors. Plaintiff is informed, believes, and based thereon alleges that Walter Day and Billy Mitchell conspired to manufacture a persona for Billy Mitchell as the greatest video game player of all time. The problem was that Billy Mitchell lacked the requisite natural skill or, or ability to be the, the greatest video game player of all time. So it, it, it also it goes into more details about this and the fact that when Billy actually went to these live competitions, he never placed first or close to first. And one he placed, I think, 25th out of 25th, it showed on the list of players at the time. One he placed, I think the, the highest he got was like six. So he was never the greatest Donkey Kong player among his peers sure. at these events. You can't claim you're the greatest player if, if you're not. Like So in terms of building a, building a persona, that wouldn't be horrible uh, to try to build persona, if it wasn't, if if you if you weren't lying to do it, you can you can bullshit if if as long as you're not lying and, and creating uh, alleged you know uh, miscalculations uh, that well uh, I'm the greatest player. You can say that if you weren't trying to also wipe out other scores of players, wipe out their existence, yeah. qualify <laughs> things. And this is even before King of Kong. This stuff was was happening. It was in the lead up to King of Kong. Uh, this yeah. Here's here's the one uh, one score from one event where Billy Mitchell was dead last out of the, he was oh he was twenty second out of twenty second at a King Kong, a King Kong Donkey Kong event right there. So um, yeah, there's there's more in here. There's a lot. 
I'm going to say this: this ain't going to be settled out of court. I think they're going to go to they're going to go to a, a jury trial. I think I think he's going to drag Billy Mitchell into court and Walter Day and go after them and and their cohorts. As I well. think it's worthwhile. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think he's going to he's going to just settle for Billy getting away with this scot free. I mean, he may not get the three million dollars, but no. he's going to he's going to he's going to ruin Billy Mitchell if he thinks he did this stuff, and rightfully so if he did. Um, yeah, I mean, for someone who's been using the court system so uh, as as a toy uh, to protect his fragile yeah. ego, I it, it, to me it's incredibly hilarious that this is coming back to bite him in the ass to fabricate this is from the lawsuit to fabricate the lore billy mitchell has a great video game player walter day and purged other people's scores in the twin galaxy score database when it was republished in 97 scores of billy mitchell that were not world records previously suddenly became world records for example billy mitchell was installed as a world record holder for donkey Kong jr video game when in fact another player's score was removed by walter day upon republication similarly walter day and billy mitchell rejected claims from other players bill basketball being one that they had achieved a perfect score in the Pac-Man video game, but accepted the claim of Billy Mitchell to recognize him as the first player to achieve such a perfect score. So there's a lot of this stuff out there now that I guess it's all coming together in this lawsuit that people had either alleged or talked about over the years, but they didn't have the, the clout or the, or the means to really come out. But when it's a civil course, oh boy, is it going to come out. Yeah. Because now you're going to go on the record, they'll put you in front of a camera and they're going to walk you through this stuff uh, upon discovery and be like, all right, we're going to go through this stuff. Even before the, the court case, we're going to talk about all these things that happened and they're going to get witnesses and things like that. And, and, and uh, affidavits about, you know, this is serious yep. a lawsuit like this. Oh, there's the plaque on here. Oh, it's fucking hysterical. The plaque player of the century award. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? You're great at every fucking game that's ever come out because you're good at Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Kick your ass at Contra. I'm not the video game, uh, gamer of the century because of that. It's ridiculous. It is. It's absurd. I play a mean game at Cruising USA. I'm not the gamer of the century because of that. I mean, what the... God, I, I'm so glad I'm not involved with this, with this fucking arc, classic fucking arcade high score scene. I'm so glad. It, it's just garbage. 